Welcome back. In the last few lessons, we've been talking about how we can iterate through arrays using some of the built-in array methods. And in this lesson, we're going to continue right where we left off. So to get started, if you can go into your project folder, you can go ahead and go into the 21B dash array iteration 3 folder. Then in the start subfolder, open up main.js. Then in your browser, if you can go ahead and open up index.html, you should see array iteration part 2 on the page. All right, so our next method is called index of, and this method is used to search your array for a particular element value, and if it is found, it will return the position of that element. Uh, so to see an example, uh, what we'll do is we'll do results, we'll set it equal to my array, and then we'll do index of, and then for our arguments, uh, we can specify our search element. Uh, so in our case, because we have numbers, we want to search for numbers. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do 5. And then we can specify an optional argument of from index. And this index allows us to specify where we start searching our array from. Uh, by default, if we don't provide it, we will always start at index 0. If we do provide it, we will always start searching at that location. Uh, so for now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and not include it. And then we'll go ahead and do a council log of our results so we can take a look. So if we go ahead and save and refresh. Uh, so you'll see we get the second index. Uh, so if we go 0, 1, 2, you'll see that's where our 5 is located in our array. All right, uh, so now we're going to go ahead and specify that optional parameter, so our from index. And I'm going to go ahead and set it to 3. So if we go ahead and save and refresh, you'll see that our value is not found, uh, so we return negative 1. We'll always return negative 1 if that element is not found in the array. And, and what happened is because we started at our third index, we only processed the third and fourth index, and so we never actually found our value. So that's why we return negative one here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy these two lines of code. I'm going to go ahead and paste them here, and I'm go ahead and just change this back to five so that we can see both of them. Uh, so one thing to note is you can specify a negative value here for our starting position and what will happen is we will start at the end of our array and we'll count backwards and start at that position and then work our way towards the end of the array. Uh, so as an example, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go ahead and specify negative 4 for our starting position. I'm going to go ahead and save and refresh. And so you'll see we do get 2 back because since we started at negative 4, we have negative 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we count forwards, and so eventually we do reach our 5. All right, that's so our next method, last index of, is very similar to index of, except where index of always starts at the beginning of our array, last index of starts at the end of our array and works its way forward. So that way we can find the last position of that element in our array. And it's important to know because your array can have the exact same value inside it because it's not unique. Uh, so we could easily have two 5s in our array, and if we do index of will always return the first position and last index of will always return the last position. Uh, so if we do need to grab the last one in our array, we'd want to utilize this. Uh, so to see an example, I'm just going to go ahead and take my array and I'm going to go ahead and do push. I'm going to go ahead and add a 5 and I'm going to go ahead and add the number 5 to the array and then I'm going to go ahead and copy these two lines of code and I'm going to go ahead and change this to last index of. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a council log here. And I'm going to go ahead and council log my array just to make sure everything's working as expected. If we save and refresh, you'll see we have a new array with six elements. And we have our new five at the end of our array. And so you'll see last index of returns the fifth position, returns the fifth index in our array. Uh, so similar to uh, index of, we can specify a, option, a second argument that's optional, so the from index of where we want to start a position from. And the only difference is when we specify that, we will start from that position and still work our way forward. So if we go ahead and copy these two lines of code here, and let's go ahead and specify negative 2. If we go ahead and save and refresh, You'll see that because we start at negative 2, we start from here, and then we count our way this way, and that's why we end up with uh, the second index for where our 5 is located in our array, because we skip this one altogether. Uh, so the next method we're going to take a look at is the find method. 
This method is used for returning the first array element that will pass some type of criteria. So before you saw we were returning indexes, uh, this can be used for finding the actual element itself. Uh, so as an example, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and do results. I'm going to set it equal to my array dot find. And then we go ahead and pass in a function. Uh, so this is referred to as our predicate. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do our function. And this function is similar to the sum method in that it will process each element in our array until it finds something that makes our criteria pass. Uh, so this function will be called with three arguments. The first is the value of the element that we're processing, the index, and then the array itself. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and use value uh, since that's the only one I need to utilize. So similar to our other arguments, we can go ahead and pass scope as a second argument, uh, but we won't be using that for right now. So now we'll go ahead and return value that is greater than two. So then if I go ahead and council log our results, go ahead and save and refresh, you'll see that right away as we're processing our array elements, uh, because three is greater than two is the first value that is, we return that value and we stop processing our array. All right, our last method we're gonna take a look at is find index. Uh, so find index is very similar to find, except instead of returning the array element, we're going to go ahead and return the index of that element. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these lines of code here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to find index. Let's go ahead and save and refresh. So right away you'll see a difference. So in our previous method find, we return we return three, so the actual value of our array element. And then when we use find index, we return the index of that element itself. Uh, so you'll see index one.